I'm looking forward to Kyle Trask and how he's going to handle this Auburn defense. We've talked about the defensive line for Auburn being lights out, one of the best in the country. But Kyle Trask is a different quarterback than Dan Mullen has had. He is a statue. He sits right there in the pocket. He's going to give you some nice balls. He likes to read the defense, but he needs time, and he doesn't move around. So Dan Mullen has had to adjust his play calling to see what Kyle Trask can do. And if he can't move around and that defensive line all of a sudden takes advantage of Florida's offensive line, it can be a long day for Dan Mullen and Kyle Trask. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, Jonathan. You know, and the thing for me is uh, Florida hasn't shown to be able to run the football. 88th in the country running the ball at just over 140 yards a game. And you mentioned it, Derek Brown, Marlon Davidson, Nick Coe. That front is as good as I've seen on tape anywhere in college football. And this Florida offensive line, they've struggled at times. So it is going to be on Kyle Trask to be able to make some plays down the field. Now, on the other side, that Florida front, it's really good, too. They're getting Zuniga back along the front. They've got Graynard on the other side. So 24 sacks they've been able to accumulate. They're going to have to protect Bo Nix because this year, when Bo Nix has been under pressure, he's really struggled. So the offensive line of Auburn, one area I thought – much improved this season from where they were last year. Much more physical at the point of attack. They're going to have to be able to run the football and protect Bo Nix, or this could be an old-fashioned slobber knocker in a defensive matchup that I know you and I can appreciate, Vilma. Dusty, you just brought up, what, what was that term, slobber knocker? That's right. Heard that Old in school like 20 football, years. bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but how, how, real quick right now, we're talking about a top-10 matchup. Dusty, do you feel like these teams are equally matched right now? How big of a gap do you feel there are between the Auburn Tigers and the Florida Gators? I like Auburn more than Florida. And look, I, the two games that I've really watched Florida was against Miami. I've got Miami this week, so I watched that tape. And then I watched them against Kentucky. They're two best uh, level of competition. And I thought they got lucky in both games to win those matchups. Whereas I watched the, the Auburn Tigers against Texas A&M a couple of weeks ago, and I was blown away. Going to Kyle Field, go up 21-3. The 28-20 score I didn't think was indicative of what that Auburn football team was capable of. And then you look the way Bo Nix matured and played better last week against Mississippi State. He's getting better and better. That line of scrimmage is solid. I really think Auburn is a legitimate contender, whereas Florida, I'm not quite as sold right now. Yeah, but you know, Dusty, Dusty, if you have a one-loss Florida, you can still make the college football playoffs. So Florida can lose this game and still win out. Remember, they're on the SEC east side. Auburn's on the west side, so Florida can win out, win the SEC. They can still be in the college football playoff. All is not lost if Florida loses this game. You know, I listen to Dusty's radio show when I'm out around, right? Dusty, you said that Auburn you had as your number one ranked team right now. But mm -hmm. I'm going to ask this question to JV. Right now, Dan Mullen finds a way to kind of grind out these wins, right? Last year against Mississippi State, against LSU, they found ways to win games where they probably shouldn't. A lot of screen passes last year in those games. Is that going to be the approach Dan Mullen's going to have against Auburn's front? I would take the approach of Oregon, where Oregon started off running directly at Auburn's defensive line. Now, the defensive line is great, and we talk about them all the time, but they sit in a 3-4 defense, which means that they catch and they wait for the running back to declare. So the easiest way to beat defensive linemen like that is to run right at them and get downhill quickly. If you do that and you get them off guard a little bit, now it'll allow Kyle Trask to get the ball downfield. Now you talk about the Florida Gators. They have won nine straight games. That's the longest streak in the SEC right now. Looking forward to that one. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.